Today's lesson is lesson 111, representing writing and writing mixed numbers. So if you look, we have all these mixed numbers. We have two and a half, four and one third, one and three fourths, and three and two thirds. We've used mixed numbers before when you measure and draw line segments. And today you're going to use, we're going to use some pattern blocks to show these mixed numbers. Okay. So if we look at our pattern blocks and they look like this, a yellow pattern block equals one whole, equals one. Okay. So we want to figure out what these other pattern blocks use, our, our amounts are. We'll not use this one, but we'll use the other three. Okay. So with the red pattern block, if my yellow block equals one, then I'm going to try to figure out how many red trapezoids it takes to fill in my yellow hexagon. Okay. So there's one, oh, still not full. So I'm going to put this one in by twisting it around, two. So it takes two trapezoids, red ones, to fill the one hole. So if, if I want to say what the name of just one trapezoid is, it is one half of the hole. Okay? Because one trapezoid, it takes two to fill up the hole, and it, I only, if I only have one, it's going to be one half. Okay, what about looking at the blue, these blue shapes? Okay. So if I move the blue parallelograms to my hexagon, it'll take, let's so we'll take one blue, this one I'm gonna have to twist, two, and three. So it takes three blue parallelograms oops, not enough room, to fill in one hole. So one blue parallelogram is going to be one third of the hole because it takes three pieces to make up the whole shape. Okay, now of my green triangles, it will take six. It takes six pieces to fill in the whole parallelogram. So a green pattern block will be one sixth of the whole shape because it takes six triangles to fill the whole shape. Okay, so a yellow is one whole, a red is a half, the blue is a third, and the green is one sixth. So I have this mixed number up on the board. It says one and one half. If I wanted to show that using pattern blocks, remember, remember that one half of a shape is going to be the red one and one whole is the yellow one. Okay, so if I wanted to show that, I would use one yellow pattern block and one red pattern block to show one half. I wouldn't use the blue or the green. That's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.